Coach Holder, baseball's been on the list for a long time, and now that the ball's rolling for baseball and soccer, do you have any ideas for what could be next, possibly, in terms of renovations or what? so what? Uh, absolutely. We, we've got a commitment to, to uh, on the part of the athletic department and, uh, to build an indoor track. We want to build one, the quality you can host a national championship, national indoor. Uh, do we have that funded? No. Do we have a definitive plan? No. But we've decided to do it, so it's inevitable it'll happen. And then the next sport we're going to address is wrestling. Uh, unfortunately, I think in a lot of ways since 1938 when they built Gallagher Hall, we've done nothing for wrestling. We've taken it for granted. We've just assumed that it would be the best in all the world. It's won 34 national championships kind of in spite of us. And that needs to change, and we need to make a statement that OSU wrestling is the king of the hill, and uh, we plan on doing something to, to make that, you know, give a physical manifestation to that commitment, to that responsibility. When, that, when will that happen? I don't know. Uh, sooner the better, uh, but that'll probably go over there on the east side of Gallagher Iba Arena somewhere. We've got that nice hedge fill area. Uh, what will it cost? I don't know. Probably be pretty expensive, but if you can't raise money for OSU wrestling, you're not a very good fundraiser. I mean, people get emotional about that. It, there's a responsibility to that sport. I, I tell people all the time, you can make an argument that we are who we are as an institution because of what Art Griffith and Ed Gallagher did as wrestling coaches here to show that you can be the best in the whole world at something right here on our campus in Stillwater, Oklahoma. So we owe a debt of gratitude that far transcends just the national championships.